so many pretty colors. So pretty, so pretty. I don't even know where to begin. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Fall is in the air, there's crispy leaves outside, it's getting colder, the leaves are changing colors. Fall has hit Wisconsin and I couldn't be happier. I could not be happier. I am fall's number one big fan, not only because my birthday falls at the beginning of the fall, <laughs> get it, falls at the beginning of the fall, <laughs> but fall is one of my favorite seasons. I love how it gets a little bit chilly and there's so many fun activities to do outside and you're not sweating like a beast. It's just, it's a magical time. And so, like with most things, I love to celebrate the fall with nail polish. So today, I am sharing with you guys my fall lineup for nail polishes. There are so many polishes behind me that I would love to wear in the fall right now, but these ones are the ones that I want to make sure for certain I am going to wear this fall. So this is my first string for fall polishes and we've got some good ones in here. I've got a variety of bright, or what I like to call dark brights and some very dark polishes that are just yummy. So let's jump right in here. I've got them organized by color. So I've got purples, greens, blues, reds, and some browns. Let's start with purple. I've got three purple polishes here that I cannot wait to start wearing and I want to put them all on my fingers right now. We're gonna start with the brightest shade, which is Minimalistic Mauve from Finger Paints. I love this kind of mauve fuchsia color. Gorgeous for the fall because you still get some of those bright, happy colors from the summer, but they're toned down and kind of this jewel tone palette. It's a nice contrast to some of the dark colors that I like to favor in the fall. Sometimes I like to throw in there a couple of brights just to keep things snappy. The next purple polish that I have for the fall is a little bit darker than Minimalistic Mauve. This is Off Beat from Orally. It's this beautiful deep eggplant purple. Looks a little a little bit funky in the bottle, but the color is still fantastic, stunning for the fall, and will work with so many different outfits and colors. So excited about it. And then the last one I have is actually from the most current fall collection from China Glaze. This is called Teen Spirit, and it's this gorgeous glitter. It's in this nice deep purple base, and then there are glitters in there that shift from like a deep blue to a purple. It is so glittery and dark, but like sparkly and fun. Love this one, and I also really like putting a matte top coat on it. it kind of makes those shimmers a little bit deeper and it changes them ever so slightly, but it's so much fun. I love this polish and I can't wait to try it in the fall. Next we have three green colors that I'm so excited to wear and I cannot wait to get on my fingers. The first one we're gonna start with is a definite brighter green. It's more of a turquoise and this is plush. I loved the velvet textures from Sally Hansen. I actually have the entire collection back here. Once you've had enough practice with it, it is such a fantastic polish. I love the kind of velvety texture that you get from it. So it's a little bit texturized, but it's mainly matte and it is gorgeous. But to top it all off, it's in this beautiful dark turquoise color that is perfect for the fall. The next green that I have that I'm dying to wear for this fall is going to be Makeup to Breakup by Orly. Gorgeous. Just this deep forest hunter green, beautiful cream polish, glossy finish, divine. It would go really well with this shirt that I'm wearing. And the last green polish that I have, I actually have never worn. It's been in my collection for probably a year and a half now, and I've never worn it. And as I was like going through polishes and like picking out the first polishes that I definitely wanna wear in the fall, I landed on this one and I'm like, yes! Why haven't I worn this yet? My phone's getting busy. This is Smoked Out from Orly. It's in this really deep kind of um, teal, almost black base, but then it's got this like Kelly Green metallic glitter running through it that's been finely milled. So pretty, so, so pretty, and it dries to a matte finish. Cannot wait to wear this one this fall, and I cannot believe it's taken me this long to wear it. I have too much polish. Okay, next in line are the blues, and honeys, there are lots of blues. <laughs> I love blue polish, especially like deep sapphire blue. Oh, beautiful. So we're gonna jump right in with Indie from Orly. Definitely a brighter color for the fall, but I just feel like it works so nicely. This is a cream polish and it's in this beautiful kind of denim blurple. It's 
gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And the formula on this one is fantastic. It's opaque in one coat. One coat! Next up for my blue lineup for the fall, I have Sorcerer's Hat from Square Hue. Gorgeous. This is a beautiful deep sapphire blue shimmer polish that is just magical. And if you put a matte top coat on it, it's definitely, definitely becomes this kind of velvety experience that is just luxurious. And the most awesome thing about it is that it is for sale on Square Hue's website. You can buy it as a single bottle for $10 and I have a coupon code for you guys. So use this code at squarehue.com and you get 10% off your order. Definitely pick up this polish. It is so beautiful. Absolutely love this polish. Another blue that I'm dying to wear this fall is Midnight Show from Orly. It's just your classic navy blue. Nothing that exciting and nothing that like oh my goodness that's earth shattering I just really like to wear navy blues in the fall so definitely picking this one out when it comes time next up I have a polish that once again I bought and I've never had a chance to wear it or I've never like thought to wear it it wasn't until I was doing my se bottle collection that I'm like I forgot about this color I need to wear this this is bell bottom blues from se beautiful deep navy blue base with a really beautiful strong uh, blue to purple shift running through it that is just beautiful. But then the last polish that I have here is Incognito and Salsalito from OPI. I have worn this one several times. I wore it a lot last fall when I picked it up. It's a really deep black navy blue. I love colors that are so, so dark. They're almost black, but under the right lighting, you can tell it's a dark, dark color. So now we're moving on to my favorite shade to wear in the fall, and that is red. The first one that I have here is Bus Stop Crimson. I'm kind of using this as a stand-in marker for all of those oxblood reds that I absolutely love. I have not tried this one yet. This is from Orally. This color definitely happens for me in the fall. There are so many brands that have so many variations of this color that I it would take a whole video for me to do of all of my oxblood reds because I have so many of them. So the other reds that I want to try this fall are kind of my brick red shimmers. One of them is from the Kylie matte collection that came out either in the summer or the spring. The one in particular that I'm most excited to try is hot coffee. It's a maroon red, beautiful shimmer, dries to a gorgeous matte finish, but of course you can put a glossy top coat on it and really bring out the red shimmer that's inside of it. Cannot wait to wear this one this fall because it looks, it's gonna be so pretty, so very pretty. The next one that I have is Square Hue's Vogue. This is very similar to Hot Coffee, but different in the sense that it's a gold shimmer in there instead of a red shimmer. So it's a deep brick red base with a beautiful gold shimmer running through it. You can wear it with a glossy top coat or a matte top coat and it's both just gorgeous in both formats. And just like Sorcerer's Hat, this one is still available on Square Hue's website. Lovely for the fall. Now this next red polish is probably gonna come as a shocker to most of you. I had not had this polish in my collection up until this point, and that would be Lincoln Park After Dark by OPI. I love deep blood red, um, ox blood red colors, and my go-to for a long time was Icing in Color from OPI because that was like the deepest, darkest one I had. And then I heard everybody talking about Linkin Park After Dark and I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it anywhere. It was always sold out at Target. It was always sold out at Sally's. It was always sold out at Ulta. I could have easily purchased it online, but I just never got around to doing that. And it took me forever to find it. Finally, just this week, I found it at Bed Bath & Beyond. And so, and it was the last one. It was the very last one. I grabbed it and now I have it and she's beautiful, you guys. I had no idea. I had no idea. I thought icing in color is as deep as it goes. I stand corrected. Lincoln Park After Dark is almost black. It is almost black. But if you hold it up to the light, you can tell that there's a little bit of a reddish purple happening in there and it's divine. So this is definitely in my fall lineup for my polishes this season because I'm dying to try this one. I'm so excited. Okay, these last two aren't necessarily like brick oxblood reds. I have here is Cabin Fever. It's so pretty. I remember loving this one so much last year. It's this kind of du duochrome with warm tones. So we've got a nice reddish 
orange brick red color that shifts to a gold so there's like gold and yellow and orange and red in here it is so pretty the uniqueness of it is awesome and it really does look phenomenal and very striking on the nails really excited for this one and then the last polish that I have that I'm dying to wear and uh, rock super hard this fall is vampire nightmare from Colores de Carol it is a brick red base with gold and holographic glitters running through it. It is so pretty. I think it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect for the fall. It's a nice variation and having a really dark polish but lots of glitter in there too to kind of keep things sparkly and snazzy. Love it. Absolutely love it. For September Square Hue unboxing, I mentioned that I had like no brown polishes and I'm so shocked I have a brown polish. Blah! I actually do have brown polishes. Now that I've had a chance to actually like go through my collection, I actually have several brown shimmers. I just don't wear them that often. So since I was pulling out all these polishes that I am definitely going to try this fall, I wanted to try out some of these brown shimmers. So this brown shimmer that I have here is Zero Is My Hero from uh, Nicole by OPI. This is from the Coca-Cola collection from several years ago and um, it's gorgeous. It is so beautiful. It's like a dark chocolate brown base with a beautiful like copper to gold to brown like shimmer running through it. So it does genuinely look like Coca-Cola in a bottle. It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing and it looks so beautiful on the nail. I swatched it on my fingernail and I'm like, yep, I'm gonna have to do a whole manicure with this one. It is so beautiful and just so deep and dark and it's a brown. So I'm like, yep, I gotta expand my horizons and test out this brown thing because a lot of you commented that browns are not as bad as I make them out to be and I need to be a little bit more open-minded. So here's proof. I'm trying it. Zero is my hero is on its way this fall. That's it. Those are the polishes that I am like those. That's like my first string of polishes for the fall. I am super pumped. I know I have more than I need for the fall time and I probably won't get through all of them before Christmas, but still I'm excited, man. I've got some good colors here and I'm really, really pumped. So now is your turn. Let me know in the comment section down below. What are your go-to fall colors? I'm very curious. Are you dark, dark, darks? Do you like earth tones? Are you more of like the, the dark brights? Let me know. I want to hear what your favorite fall polish is because I'm dying to know. I'm dying to know. That is my video for today, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure and subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!